Alright everybody, we are back on another edition of Zaylink. And with Zaylink, we talk about intimacy, sexuality, relationship goals, social uh, things that happen in society. And um, we're going to jump right into our track as we usually do. And this track is by the uh, lovely lady sitting beside me, Paris Richards. <laughs> Let's drop her track. I see you dancing Friday. <laughs> <laughs> He's working He's the waistline. The they caught me. He's getting his groove on. <laughs> they caught me. Yes. Okay. Mm. So <laughs> it's always good vibes to have good music, and uh, it's even better when you have the uh, songstress, raptress that actually sang the song sitting right beside you. So welcome. Thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. Yes. <laughs> and um, Paris Richards, for those of you that don't know, I'm also known as Queen of the Six. 50 round drum, I seen it. Every lemon keys, fast, I mean, I'm from the screw face, I mean. A rapper. You know, you know, you know. know. Raptress. You know. Model. You know. Um, vixen. <laughs> Um, very well seasoned in the game. I mean, like, I don't know if I'm doing justice. Why don't you give everybody a little intro? Um, basically, um, everybody just knows me for being like, you know, a baddie, a baddie, a stripper, <laughs> <laughs> a rapper, a model. You know, I did it all. Um, been in the game for so many years now, you know, hence where I get the name, the queen of the six. Mm. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so, I mean, you have so much experience, and we just heard that track. That's a remix that we were just playing, right? Yeah, that was just something, you know, I was just having fun with, you know. It's a little warm-up, you know, but I got other stuff in the bag, ready to go, you know what I'm saying? Like, this Shit. is this is nothing, you know. This is just a little warm-up. Mm, it's a warm-up track. Say. People talking smack? People be talking smack all the time. <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that pasta pasta. That he say, that. she say. <laughs> mm, I like that. <laughs> Where did the gun come from? <laughs> I got sound effects. Somebody's locked and loaded. Friday. <laughs> Friday. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, so for those that are listening, this oh, is Zay Link, and we have Paris Richards in the building, and we are going to be talking about a lot of juicy stuff. And if you have any questions on intimacy or sex relationships women people anything send your emails to zaylink at gmail.com that's zaylinks with an s so z-a-e-l-i-n-k-s at gmail.com follow on instagram as well zaylink singular and uh, your host uh, alizé vlogs myself follow on youtube as well as my instagram handle and if you have questions you want to ask me direct which most of you do don't be shy your privacy is respected respected yes we don't pass, we don't draw the line here. Like we don't really like actually pass it. We, we, we go over it a little bit, but we don't push it too far. So no names get mentioned here. <laughs> so send your questions and uh, it will be answered by uh, whoever's on the show. So let's get right into it. Let's talk about a few topics, uh, Paris. Um, let's talk about, hmm. What was the first one? <laughs> <laughs> Got me nervous here. No, let's talk about something I think you can talk a lot about. Social media. Like, how do you feel about it right now? I hate it. Mm. I, I really hate social media, but it's so <laughs> addicting. Yes. And it's like, as much as you could hate it, you low-key love it. It's like... That's addiction. Right? It's like, you don't want to <laughs> be on it, but then you low-key have to have, like, you know, a little profile to just see what's going on. You know what I mean? Even if you're not on it, it's like, you you need to know what's going on with the community. Like, I, I remember I took a break. I had my social media from, like, before when Instagram was just, like, getting popular. Mm -hmm. And um, I had issues, like, you know, posting. I used to post, like, pictures of my son on social media. And, like, people are just so mean and wicked, like, it, it gives people like a different sense of power, I feel like on social media, like, because you could just hide behind a computer and not show a face and just be a bully and just be like, you know, a bad person. 
you know, there's not a lot of good people out there, but there is good people, but there's a lot of bad people on social media for some <laughs> yeah. reason. Like nobody has never Trolls. has anything nice to say. Right. So during that time, I took off all the pictures of my son and just kept everything just like about me. And you have to be very careful, you know, mm-hmm. but I took a break too, like I was saying, um, off social media. And even though I took that break off social media, it's like I still had a backup account just to see what's going on. <laughs> you couldn't because it, it was like I'm done with social media, but I, I need to know what's going on. I need to know what's going on on Baller Alert, the Shade Room, <laughs> all the juicy gossip, mm-hmm. who's doing what. You know, y- you still need to know. It's like it, it's it's more informing than the news. Yeah, you find everything out on social media before you find it out on the news. It's like it's already there. You know, somebody took a video, uploaded it. It's yeah. there, you know, but I still hate social media. So you had not the best experiences, <laughs> but you have to admit for your brand. I mean, the fact that you do mm-hmm. so much in your career that social media has boosted that potential. of Yeah, new it's good for fans. business purposes. You know, like if you have a brand, a business or whatever you're trying to plug in, definitely social media is a great platform for for that but like if i didn't have a brand or if i wasn't doing what i was doing yeah. i probably would not have a an instagram account or a twitter or anything to be honest and if i did it would be one of those f- <laughs> fake accounts with no picture and i'm just preying everything <laughs> <laughs> well you have like over five hundred thousand, i believe oh no followers. no i have like three hundred thousand. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> humble humble flex <laughs> humble flex <laughs> well you you have a I'm lot trying, of eyes on you so i can imagine why it could be intimidating sometimes that you sometimes don't always want to be gawked at yeah or always like under scrutiny like you know your yeah. fans haters everybody's always like jumbled under that umbrella of who's following you so it's yeah. like you got to be careful sometimes of what you choose on posting yeah i definitely know when it's not you know sexy people don't like it mm. <laughs> But everybody has their own interpretation of sexy because you also have some. Uh, oh, oh, <laughs> you shit, also I'm have sorry. some like loyal, you know what I mean, fans and followers that will like you no matter how you dress or yeah, carry yourself. Yeah, that's true. Like those are my true real f- fans, you know. Other yeah. than that, like you know, I checked and I did an insight on my Instagram to see. Yeah. What kind of followers that are following me from where, from what country? Because it gives you like all that breakdown on Instagram. Yeah. And I realized the majority of followers are men. So that explains (laughs) why (laughs) I don't get any likes on uh, pictures unless they're sexy because these guys are perverts probably. But about 10 to 15 percent is women. (laughs) So I need to work on getting more female followers because the men follow me like no problem. But at the female followers, that's like mm. more like uh, like judgmental. They're more get. judgmental. Maybe. Yeah. Women are more judgmental. Yeah. Question. Yes. Um, And I don't before even getting into your like uh, relationship situation. Yeah. When you post a pic by yourself. Yeah. And then let's say you post a pic with your man. Yeah. Or a man. Yeah. Do you see the like ratio go down or up De- definitely down definitely <laughs> down they be hating you know what I'm saying? So they be hating like who's this guy i don't care I we're not here to, to follow this <laughs> <laughs> no but it's facts though because i mean if her audience is men they're gonna be like yo i want to be that guy so i'm oh, not gonna man. like this picture Fuck right. that. Or like, like, fuck that. I ain't liking that shit like, fuck that nigga we don't want to see this shit take that yeah. shit down paris take that shit down <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, especially comment gang, right? Mm. They're very ruthless and yeah. <laughs> mm. my followers strong. My yeah. my followers, man. And then I then I realized I think I thought in my head that most of my followers were from, from, from Toronto, like from my city. Nope. Wow. Most of them are from New York. Okay. Which was like shocking to me. I was like, well, most of my followers are from New York. Second is Toronto. Well, Toronto's like, still up there. It's still up there, but more <laughs> in New York. So, you know, maybe I got to head down to New York, you know. Mm. Paris in New York? That's, that's yes, a title. Paris takes New York. <laughs> <laughs> Reality okay. show coming soon. Mm. 